In this video, I'll be showing evidence and proof that Cliff Kinnickley from Christian Apologetics from giving me an answer on his YouTube channel that he is a false wicked prophet, an unsaved devil, and he's a backloader, backloading works unto the gospel. So, well, for ado, that's going to the proof of this man's false teaching. And then we should mark and re avoid and rebuke this false prophet and pray that he will believe on the true gospel. So, for ado, let's get into the video, starting with your friendlyhood and then closing with my commentary showing you the evidence that Cliff does believe in a works based salvation. So, without further ado, let's go. All right, so here it's going over a video by Your Friendlyhood exposing Cliff, and I also will show you evidence that he did say this from this video from TikTok. So let's just let Your Friendlyhood do explain for us, because I think he does a lot better job than I can. So let's play the video without further ado. A video this morning that was so disgusting that any respect that I had left for him is totally gone. So we're going to watch the video together and then I'm going to show you why this is so wicked. If someone accepts Jesus, they go to heaven, right? Like my grandpa, he's Jewish and he's a great person. He's a yes. really good person. And yes. He has good morals and everything, but he doesn't accept Jesus. Someone who accepts Jesus, but rapes and murders someone, yep. goes to jail. And then at the end of their life, they're like, you know what? I'm going to accept Jesus. But my grandpa, who's a great person morally, yep. but is Jewish and doesn't accept Jesus. He goes to hell and burns for eternity. But the person who rapes and murders people and accepts Jesus goes to heaven. That just doesn't seem like right to me. But you see, sir, that's American Christianity that you just define. You can accept Jesus and do anything. False. If you accept Jesus, you cannot do anything. You have to follow him. Otherwise, you are a flaming hypocrite, which is why I'm really scared for all those white Christians in the United States who had slaves and who took those slaves to church on Sunday. I'm really scared for them. I'm really scared for the guy who says, I believe in Jesus, but I sleep around. I'm really scared for the person who says, I believe in Jesus, and I'm going to steal your stock portfolio in a very sophisticated way so I don't get caught. That's scary because the evidence is you have not accepted Christ because if you had accepted Christ, you'd hate that type of behavior. Hate that type of behavior. Now, if you don't understand why this is so evil, let me explain this to you. So the atheist kid, he asked Cliff, why does a murderer who after living a sinful, debaucherous life get to go to heaven through simply putting their faith in Christ? Meanwhile, a Jewish person who lives a righteous life goes to hell. And of course, this is a false premise, but we'll get to that later. But Cliff responds and says that actually someone who murders and steals and rapes their entire life and then puts their faith in Jesus actually won't be saved. And this just goes directly against Jesus's whole message. In Luke chapter five, verses 31 and 32, it says this, and Jesus answering said unto them, they that are whole need not a physician, but they that are sick. I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Jesus did not come to save righteous people, good people. He came for sinners. Jesus literally came to bring forgiveness for murderers, for sinners, for thieves, for adulterers, for evil, wicked people people. And Cliff Connectly is saying that Jesus actually didn't do that. And that if you had a sinful life before you believed in Jesus, you won't go to heaven. I, I just can't believe that a Christian, the whole religion is about Jesus forgiving your sins, but he doesn't believe Jesus forgives your sins. He then goes on to say that if someone who got saved and wasn't living a sinful life before, then goes on to live a sinful life that they will not be saved or were never saved. He says that white Christian slave owners in the Americas who were sinning, the transatlantic slave trade is outlawed in Exodus chapter 21, that they are unsaved because they were living a wicked lifestyle. He says that a Christian that commits adultery or steals, that they will not go to heaven, even though they've believed in Jesus and trusted on him alone for their salvation because they live a wicked lifestyle. And once again, this just shows that Cliff Connectly does not believe the gospel that Jesus came to bring forgiveness for your sins. It says in Acts 13, 38 and 39, be it known unto you, therefore, men and brethren, 
that through this man is preached unto you the forgiveness of sins, and by him all that believe are justified from all things which you could not be justified by the law of Moses. So every sin in the Ten Commandments is something that Jesus came to forgive. No matter how bad of a sinner you are, you can be saved. And even if after you have believed, you live an unrighteous lifestyle, you will still go to heaven. And the Bible just says this explicitly multiple times. I'll show you two places. The first one is in Romans chapter seven. St. Paul, who is a canonized Catholic saint, he is the author of half of the New Testament. He brought Christianity to the European world, he says this, I find then a law that when I would do good, evil is present with me. For I delight in the law of God after the inward man, but I see another law in my members warring against the law of my mind, bringing me into captivity to the law of sin, which is in my members. O wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of this death? I thank God through Jesus Christ our Lord, so then with the mind I myself serve the law of God, but with the flesh the law of sin. Now St. Paul is definitely saved. If anyone saved, it is Paul. But Paul admits right here that he lived in sin and he thanks God that he can live in sin and still be saved because with the mind he has believed in the Lord Jesus Christ. All right, I'm probably going to stop it there. Um, brother, your friendly hood did an outstanding job explaining that using evidence from passage of Romans 7, showing that Paul was still living in sin and yet he was saved. So that's an excellent proof text showing that believers, first off, are not sinless and yet we're still saved, right? Wonderful video. I'll include your friendly hoods video in the video description if you want to watch the rest of it for proper context. And then I'll just go on moving on to my commentary of Cliff and just show you that, yep, this is the video he said on TikTok. Um, your friendly hood is spot on. And yeah, Mark and Floyd, he's a false teacher, guys. Um, he's a wolf. And he's an unsaved devil. Pray for him that he repents and and actually teaches the true gospel. I pray that he will get saved. And Cliff, I know I don't know you since since Adam. You don't know who I am, and I don't know you other than through your videos. But if you're not saved, I encourage you listen to the gospel and believe on it. You're safe purely on Jesus alone. His life, death, burial, resurrection. You're not saved by your lifestyle or turn away from sin. That's workspace salvation, and you need to repent. All right, guys, I'm going. Let's go on to the next video, and then we come to the close. Jesus, they go to heaven, right? Like my grandpa, he's Jewish, and he's a great person. He's a yes. really good person. Yes, he has good morals and everything. But he doesn't accept Jesus. Someone who accepts Jesus but rapes and murders someone yep. goes to jail, and then at the end of their life, they're like, you know what? I'm gonna accept Jesus. But my grandpa, who's a great person morally, yep. but is Jewish and doesn't accept Jesus, he goes to hell and burns for eternity. But the person who and murders people and accepts Jesus goes to heaven. That just doesn't seem like right to me. You see, sir, that's American Christianity that you just defined. You can accept Jesus and do anything. False. If you accept Jesus, you cannot do anything. All right, as we see here, he's already teaching backloaded works and as a requirement to faith in Jesus. So he's teaching faith plus works that um, when you follow Jesus, you can't just do whatever you want. And of course, he's talking in the context of salvation. Of course, following Jesus is optional. That's with our relationship and our sanctification with the Lord, but has nothing to do with being saved. A lot, a lot of people get that wrong. Uh, you're saved but as one-time belief in Jesus, and you're always saved the moment you believe in Jesus' life, death, burial, and resurrection. So this is very subtle, but he's teaching back to the works here saying you have to follow Jesus as a mandate requirement or you are not safe. Let's play rest of the video. You'll see that here. 
you have to follow him. Otherwise, you are a flaming hypocrite, which is why I'm really scared for all those white Christians in the United States who had slaves and who took those slaves to church on Sunday. I'm really scared for them. I'm really scared for the guy who says, I believe in Jesus, but I sleep around. I'm really scared for the person who says, I believe in Jesus, and I'm going to steal your stock portfolio in a very sophisticated way so I don't get caught. That's scary because the evidence is you have not accepted Christ because if you had accepted Christ, you'd hate that type of behavior and you'd turn away from it. All right, there you go. So you said if you accepted Christ, you will turn for that behavior. That's a false gospel. The only requirement for salvation is by belief on Jesus. Faith alone and Christ alone, Ephesians 2, 8, and 9. For by grace are we saved. Through faith is the gift of God, not works least any man should boast. Suppose. It's purely by faith in Jesus, one time then, and you're always safe. Amen. So there you go. Um, Cliff, Mark and Avoy, he's an unsaved goat. He's a child of Satan. The devil is his father. He's lying. And notice that he doesn't back up with scriptures when, when he's responding to these students. That's a red flag. And he doesn't give a gospel presentation how to get saved. Very, I couldn't find a video where he teaches that. Not a red flag. So Mark and avoid this unsaved goat, this devilish man. I pray that he repent and preach the true gospel of grace. Let's stick to our Bible, folks. And matter, don't fall into these wolves in sheep clothing who so easily influence young people young minds of these college students, especially online, stick to your Bible folks if you dare go wrong. That's it. This is a short one. I'll see you until next time. And if you are not 100% sure that you're going to heaven when you die, I could you watch to the end of this video so you know how to get to heaven. Alright, see ya. God bless. Friend, this is probably the most important thing you can ever do in your life is how to be simply saved, how you can go to heaven according to the Bible. The Bible says that there's some bad news that we're all sinners. Say it in Romans 3.23. And because we sin, we deserve to be punished in hell because of our sins. But the good news is Jesus Christ, who is God's son, and what he did, he died on the cross for all your sins. He was buried and he rose again in order to give you eternal life, which is in heaven, offered to you as a free gift from God. And how do you get saved, friend? You simply just need to believe that. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved, as stated in Acts 16.31. And this is done purely just by our faith in Christ alone, and now of works, simply by believing. And once you believe that, Jesus said in John 6.47, Very, very, I say unto you, He that believes on me have everlasting life. See, Jesus says you have everlasting life. That means this life has no end to it. It goes on forever, which means you are saved forever. You will always go in heaven forever because you believe what Jesus did for you. You believe in the gospel. And also, Jesus, just to make himself clear, he did say in John 5, 24, Verily, verily, I say unto you, he who hears my word and believes on him that sent me, Again, Jesus says, have everlasting life. And then Jesus says, shall not go in condemnation, but is passed from death unto life. You see, Jesus said, word for word, you will never go to hell, and you don't have to worry about that. He said, if you only believe what he did for you, then you're going to heaven, and you're saved forever. Now, Frank, can you see how this is good and exciting news? Now, the question you need to decide for yourself uh, is that do you believe it friend do you believe you're saved purely by god's grace which is done by your faith in jesus and that god promised you heaven as a result of doing that because jesus died for you see your eternity depends whether you believe this or not and that is your choice but would you believe it before it's too late